There might be spoilers for the following TV shows. And please do not put spoilers in the comments without a spoiler warning. Thank you. Him, a person of the male gender who is that guy. Only a few men in TV show history have ever been able to attain this title. Prove himself worthy of it. So in today's video, I'll be talking about some of those men who have achieved this. I'm also going to score them on how him they are as well. So sit back, grab your snacks, relax, and enjoy the video. <laughs> From store clerk to millionaire, we got Franklin Saint. Franklin is him because he really got that energy for real. And bro always stood on him. I'm Dennis. And was breaking bread with his whole family. And he was just casually outsmarting every one of his enemies. Like when he tricked Jill into coming to Tanisha's house. And when he went to jail, he got his shoes took and he got zoned. And then after some encouragement from his friend, he went back, goes and punches the guy that took his shoes, and then does this. Any of y'all little niggas step to me again, and I'll kill all your fucking families. <laughs> You know what I mean, Bennis. Don't forget about Lenny. That scene is just so cold, bro. And you know you're like that when your ops want to work. I'm not gonna lie, bro was so good at what he was doing, it made me want to start selling hugs. And lastly, this line right here. You got less, say? Eh? What I got? <laughs> I got the plug, nigga. Perfect. I'm gonna give my boy Franklin a 9 because bro lost everything and became an alcoholic, which is bad drinks, so I can't give him a 10. Holy mother of God! Okay, Walter White is him just for the fact I've never heard one person say that the Breaking Bad is a bad show, which is pretty hard. So I don't want to see them comments talk about Breaking Bad is me, Breaking Bad is true, uh. Because you're lying, you're capping. Unless you got a really good reason why it's bad, I don't want to see it. But, anyways. This man really started selling math because he liked the danger and power. I mean, at first it was because of his family, but then he just started to like it. He also really just got some tough lines like this one. Who is it you think you see? Do you know how much I make a year? I mean, even if I told you, you wouldn't believe it. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot and you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. And he made a grown man say his name. Say my name. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right. Which is crazy because me personally, I'm not taking all of it disrespect. He also sort of also kind of took down a whole game by himself to save Jesse. So I'm going to give Walter at 1 million because he got more zeros in his bank account than a computer. And he's just Walter. Oh, a rider. No, no! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! This character is probably an underrated one. I wouldn't even have known who he was if a streamer I watched named Fresh on Kick didn't watch From on stream. Shout out to Fresh for putting me on through. But boy got a spot on here because he really had the cojones to step up to this. And I know he might look like a normal person, kinda, but watch the show and you'll see why he's so dangerous. And on the first day of coming to town. He was basically already the leader, so he was making more moves than the people already stuck there. And sadly, Bro had to one pump his wife. Probably took a lot of strength and didn't hesitate. So he gets a little extra point because he one shot his wife. And the theme song, absolute banger. Hi, I'm Andrew Lincoln, AKA Ricky Dicky Doodah Grimes. The reason why Rick is him is because of the reason why I watched the show, which was TikTok edits. And the man just made me realize how him my boy was. So first, bro was just casually taking down a bunch of walkers who were in the herd, by the way, with just a hatchet. Oh, and he did that more than once, which is insane. And this is probably the most coldest thing in TV history. He told Garrett that he was going to kill him with a machete with a red handle. And mind you, he was tied up and he was supposed to die. And he said that still. And guess what he did? I'll wait. He stood on business and did exactly what he said he was going to do. There's a lot more, but... Really gotta watch the show to understand, cause me explaining won't do it justice for real. But I'ma give Rick like a 2,000, which I could have made lower, cause he let Shane take Lori's cheeks and Negan bully him. But he got his get back in the end, so I gotta give him his point. Now Morgan might be a little more him, cause at first I thought he was gonna be some random character that we never see again. But boy was I wrong, cause bro is a pure demon with the staff. Cause he really pulled up on a bunch of walkers to help Daryl and Aaron. He could have got bit, and he still helped just cause. And plus, he helped the goat Daryl, so <laughs> respect for that. 
Even took on multiple people by himself more than once. And that's just normal Morgan. Crazy Morgan is something else. But I'm going to watch y'all watch the show for that one. But I'm going to give Morgan a 3,000 because he's just too cold with the staff. And I see red. I see red. <laughs> If you watched the show as a kid, you sure already know why I put him on here. I don't remember too much about him because I haven't watched the show since I was a little kid, but my memory, bro, is definitely him, not gonna lie. So this was kind of like an honorable mention. So I'm gonna just give him a 10, though. Thomas Shelby made it on because he's a PK freaking blinder. And he's a really smart character that is always thinking steps ahead of his opponents. And he's really like that because how many people do you know taking a bullet and headshotting someone right after? And he doesn't fit death either because Bro just lit a cigarette and accepted his fate. Also, he's played by the goat Cillian Murphy, who only plays him characters. So I'm going to give Mr. Shelby a calm little 10k because he's a PK blinder. <laughs> All right. Even though Homer can kind of be a prick and we get dog walked by Superman and Omni Man, he's still him because he's really a menace for him. First off, Bro really pushed his son off a roof like it was nothing, then walked over to him and called him a wussy. Like, that's just respectful right there. Psych! I can't really put Homelander on here because bro is really just Superman if he was a bully. Bro was just bullying everybody because he had powers, and I can't respect that, not gonna lie. He's still a menace, but I'm gonna give bro like a six because he's just a super bully. At first, Hopper was pretty mid, but after seeing the end of season three and all of season four, I feel like he earned the title, so I'll put him on here. So first, bro survived and took down this. And this thing was straight bodying every other person in sight. And he escaped it and came back and tapped into his inner link and killed it. And he pulled Joyce, aka Winona Ryder. So I'm gonna get bro a 10. I'm gonna end off the video here. Hope y'all enjoyed. And comment some of y'all favorite TV show characters or some of y'all characters that y'all think are him. And thanks for all the love on last video and for 3K subs. Um, you haven't subbed and liked already. Like and sub, because, you know, I'm always dropping bangers. It only takes a second. But I'm out, so bye. Also, like, any him video that I make, the more I see, like, a, a character, the more likely I am to put it on, like, a video. So the more, if you see a character that you, uh, what's it called, like and will like on a him video, oh, my God, my bad, comment it, because uh, the more comments I see of that character, more likely I'm going to put them on a him video. So yeah, bye. I want to say you're a real good guy. No people know that would be a lie. It's been a nightmare being your friend. So it's time for this to win. Don't copyright me.